I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. This is Rob. This is like a week four, three and a half of uh, not having our trailer. Well, our trailer's here. We're just not using it the way we wanted to yet because something very special is happening. <clears throat> but I can't tell you what it is yet. But we are in Central Oregon and had a wonderful day. We did some shopping in uh, Redmond, Oregon. And then, um, a nice evening with uh, Sherry's folks. And that's where we keep our uh, trailer in uh, Central Oregon on the ranch, uh, what they call Crooked River Ranch. And then, we'll walk around here a little bit so you can see this beautiful area. Yeah, it's a shop over here. <coughs> but um, today we always go to, for years and years we used to live here, go to breakfast at 10 o'clock every week forever uh, a lot of people that we've known for a long time and then uh, after breakfast we're gonna go for a ride maybe go to sisters or something like that and, uh, and uh, so the neighbors yelling at me here and <laughs> nice guy and then uh, um, tomorrow is Memorial Day weekend so we're gonna go to our local <laughs> memorial group, a small group on Crooked River Ranch and go uh, to the festivities. So anyway, I gotta go see my neighbor, so we'll see you in a bit. Bye. So a lot of people don't know much about Central Oregon. They hear it's high desert and uh, it's uh, a little different. Yeah, there's no evergreens, but what you see behind me are beautiful uh, junipers. Um, they're amazing trees. Uh, they're gorgeous. Birds love them. Lots of wildlife in this area, and uh, it's kind of a secret to the world of what Central Oregon's like. Uh, yeah, I come from Washington, the evergreen side, but here it's more open, um, not too far. You can get in very open, see far, sunshine a lot. Even when it's cold here, you usually have blue skies, and it uh, makes you feel just warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Sometimes you see these blue skies. It'd be 20 degrees out. You walk out of your car and go, whoa! <laughs> your car is all warm from the sunshine. So anyway, great area. We'll be telling you a lot about Central Oregon as we go here. Very special things are happening and we uh, should have, uh, we're hoping to tell you about it this weekend, but got a little more time and then we'll tell you what's going on. Fifth Wheel is here and uh, it's got a purpose. And we'll show you what that purpose is probably next week or, or two here. So. Talk to you later. Today's Sunday and we thought we'd go for a little ride. We're in Prineville and actually this is a place I haven't been before. Um, it's a viewpoint that actually overlooks the whole valley. So I'm going to show you a pan of the valley of Prineville, um, Central Oregon.
here on Crickwood River, way up by the Bowman Dam. And uh, yeah, we just saw a snake, but it was a bull snake. But I don't like snakes, so now I got the heebie-jeebies. But I'll live. Anyway, I'll show you some pictures. So we stopped over by Worm Springs now, quite a ride actually from Prineville, and we stopped by this Chutes River to let Cinder go swim and get cooled off, and then we're going to go over to the Worm Springs Casino and have dinner because they make the best fry bread in the world. So uh, I'll get you some pictures of the Deschutes River, and that's all I got for now. Hi guys, this is Rob, and this is Cinder, <laughs> and stop, <laughs> anyway, jeez, so this is a uh, third day or so of being down in Central Oregon, uh, we do have the fifth wheel, you can see it better in the background, and we're heading back up to Washington on, on, um, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, sorry, I'm making this up as we go anyway it's been a great weekend the weather's been outstanding uh, we always wait an extra day uh, after Memorial Day weekend because of traffic to do our seven hour eight hour drive uh, I can't get over just what a nice place Central Oregon is um, I'm gonna do a little flip around here so you can kind of see where I'm sitting I'm at a uh, Sherry's folks house and they got five acre place and uh, you can kind of see me and Cinder are just sitting here enjoying the evening. It's cooling off. The sunset's getting close. I'm going to rotate the camera around so you can get a 360 of everything. So here we go. That's the uh, front yard. And we'll pan around to their house that we're at. 
And you'll see a garage in the background, big shop. And then you'll see the truck coming in the picture. And then me and Cinder are sitting on the back of the truck. And you see we keep our fifth wheel in the front of the property. Um, we keep it here for several months. It has a very important mission. So uh, I can't emphasize enough the things you can do with your RV to make dreams come true. Our RV, we love, uh, but we'll probably never do it full time. We'll probably be more snowbirds. But I cannot emphasize enough without this fifth wheel over here helping us doing what we're doing, which we'll announce later this week. The fifth wheel is critical, and I'll explain why next week. So I want to thank you for watching RV Travel Quest, and you'll see this also getting blended with another website pretty soon. We'll announce it. And I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. I hope you got to enjoy your RV. If you don't have an RV, I hope you had a chance just to get out and enjoy the wonderful country we have. So this is Rob Scribner. And Sherry's in the, in the house making <laughs> strawberry shortcake. It's going to be a rough night. Anyway, so I hope everybody had a great weekend, and we'll talk to you later. Good night.